what's going on fam it is glick here the one and only glick bringing you guys a unboxing video for today i just got a uh, pretty neat little item in the mail today finally i've been waiting uh i guess a few months to get my hands on this but uh finally i got some extra money um and uh, was finally able to pick it up and it is the mad cat uh, street fighter 5 um chun li te torment edition 2 stick uh for the playstation 4 um yeah, I'm going to be unboxing this today. Really happy that I finally got this because I can finally play the fighting games that I have on PS4 properly. Probably learn them because I cannot play on pad. I just can't. It's just been too long since I've played on a PlayStation pad. I, I'm, I'm not going back. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be unboxing this today. Let's not wait any longer because I really want to play. So let's jump into it. All right, so I'm going to do my best to try and uh, capture everything properly this time around because probably, as you guys already know, my past unboxing videos, which I've had a few, have been kind of sloppy, but um, <laughs> hopefully I'm able to, like, capture everything properly in this one. All right, so as you can see, like, the box is pretty sizable. Um, I don't actually think the arcade stick is this big, but um, this is Mad Cat's doing a good job packaging their stuff. Like, you'd, I'd rather, be in a, rather it be in a big sizable box with, you know, um, cushioning and whatnot than them to just throw it in a small box and have the thing bounce around and everything um, But anyway, let's open this up. I've got my personal information and stuff covered here because I'm too lazy to blank it out in the actual video So uh, don't mind that because all we got to do is get the uh, the front open here um, Yeah, so early on today when this first came in my dog tried opening it because my dog loves to open like boxes and presents and stuff Like I guess it's just an old habit he does it all the time now, so there's kind of teeth marks in the box, but, um, no, I wanted to open it up myself, so I was like, no, sorry. <laughs> as, as much fun as it is to watch him, like, struggle to open cardboard boxes and presents and stuff, and, like, rip off wrapping paper, I just wanted to do this myself, so, that's what I'm doing. I don't want to cut, like, the actual box. That would be... That'd be pretty sad. I would probably cry if I cut the actual box. All right, and let me grab the front here. Everything is sliced off pretty well. There we go. Okay. All right. Now. Whoo! Holy Jesus! Okay. So, yeah, it's really it's really secured in there. So, if, I mean, if you guys are ordering like a stick from Mad Cats at least, and you're worried about it, you know, uh, being, you know, bounced around a lot, or just, you know, not really secured and possibly broken upon arrival, uh, I wouldn't really worry too much, because, uh, I've ordered, um, I've ordered several sticks from them, and they, they've all been turned out fine. I actually had one, one to be honest, that I bought from the Microsoft store that wasn't working but that was from the microsoft store and that could have been several other things or several other factors i don't know why that was busted i think like uh some of the wiring inside of it came apart but i don't know what happened oh man yeah this is really this is really secured in there so let me move this out of the way real quick Ooh. okay turns out uh the arcade stick box is actually Pretty big. I thought there was just gonna be like a ton of styrofoam in here, but apparently not. All right. Wow. Okay. This is like a beautiful box. Like this box art is freaking amazing. Chun Li. Hmm. 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 Anyway. Um. Yeah. Let's get to opening this then. Okay. So yeah, as you guys can see, um, PlayStation Four, PlayStation Three. Uh, would be nice to have, like, a really stylish stick like this on Xbox One, but considering Xbox One's only fighting game title right now is, like, uh, Killer Instinct, um, you know, probably not many people would pick it up on that system anyway, but eventually down the line I actually do need to get a a Xbox One stick. I'll probably get one before uh, Killer Instinct Season 3 comes out because I don't think I'm going to end up uh... Let's see, how do I open this? It's got to like slide out, right? Yeah, it does slide out. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to end up playing it on Windows 10, so I'll probably end up picking it up on the Xbox One along with a stick. Ooh, 
Okay. Here we go. I really don't want to mess up this box art. Right. This will probably be easier. Alright, so we'll slide it out here. Oh man, it's really snug. Whew. Come on, you gotta go. You gotta go. I know you want to stay on, but you gotta go. Okay. Wow. Oh, just beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, we're almost there, guys. <laughs> we are almost there. All right, I think I'm going to, like, speed up this part because it might take me a little while to figure out where I'm supposed to put everything, so uh, bear with me for a few seconds. Okay, all right. So, obviously you see the stick right now, but just to let you guys know what it comes with. So, you got some MadCAD stickers in here. You've got the TE2 guide. It kind of shows you, you know, all the buttons, what all the buttons do. Um, it probably shows the inside. Let's see. Because I know you could open up this stick, so it probably shows you a guide on how to open it. If I can the thing open yeah it does right here so that's pretty neat um but yeah so with the te2 with mad cats te2 lines of sticks uh, apparently the it they uh they designed them so it's a lot easier to mod them it's a lot easier to open it up uh pop in new buttons pop off your buttons replace the joystick all that cool stuff so if you're into modding your sticks it's a lot easier with te2s um i guess here's a screwdriver to open it up and then yeah mad cat stickers that's about it, I think. And I've got more cushioning. Oh, good. Oh, goody. Ugh. Move you over. All right. Set everything aside here. Uh, and yeah, this is the stick and all its glory. Wow. Okay, so... Um, Let me zoom in on it. Wow, this camera zooms extremely slow. Okay, so I mean, you know, if you guys have used Mad Cats to Armored Edition 6 before, this is pretty similar, but it's got some additional features. Okay, so we've got Sanwa buttons on here, and I think, what is it, Sumitsu stick? That's the ones that come with Mad Cat sticks. Um, I think it's Sumitsu. Oh god, I hope I'm like, I hope I'm right about that. Either the Sumitsu stick or the Sanwa sticks, but I'm pretty sure it's Sumitsu stick. Because I think Sanwa is just button parts, right? Um, I'm not really 100% sure, so we'll have to correct me on that. So you got, uh, yeah, Sanwa buttons is probably the most important thing. I think that's what everybody's usually worried about when picking up a stick. They want to use Sanwa buttons. Um, yeah, so the artwork, I, it's supposed to move. I don't really see it. <laughs> I probably have to be in uh, in the light a little bit more, but yeah, it's supposed to move. Um, like her legs are supposed to like move because it's like holographic artwork, which is pretty neat. But anyway, um, just to show you guys up close. So, oh no, it's already zoomed in. I forgot. So right here, you got the PlayStation button. Takes you to the home menu. Uh, PS4, PS3, Switch. So whichever console you're deciding to play on, you just switch it over. Um, Let's see, what are these? So this is on lock and unlock switch, so if you, it's inactive and you don't want your button, buttons to be pressed or anything to go on on the screen while you're away or something, just lock that. Uh, this is the LS, DP, and RS. These are like certain modes for certain fighting games. Usually you just leave it on DP for Street Fighter though. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, you're going to screw up your inputs. Or your stick just won't work, period. <laughs> um, let's see. What the... What the... Oh, you know what I didn't get with this? I just realized it. I didn't get the... I didn't get the strap. So right here... On the back here, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me move it over. It's so right here. And right here is where the strap is supposed to go around. You could actually just carry this around. That after lugging around... Uh, instead of lugging it around in a separate bag. Um, I'm not sure what this is right here. Not really sure what that's for. Um, 
God, I can't remember. I think it might be for like an, an extension. It might be. Yeah, because this is, yeah, this is where the USB cable goes. It's like the extension. And then, oh man. Oh yeah, that's right. So the whole thing opens up somewhere. I'm such a scrub at this. <laughs> oh wow, okay. So this bottom panel here, you just press it and I guess stick just pops open. Neat. So if you guys want to see just the inside a little bit more, just the buttons. And uh, yeah, so you got the USB cable here. Um, was I right? Yeah. Okay, yeah I was right. So that uh, part in the back, that little circle thing, that coax-like slot, not really coax, but yeah, that's where that plugs into the USB cable. So I don't think this comes with like a separate like uh, cabinet or whatever, or what do you want to call it, drawer or closet to like store your USB stick or your USB um, your USB cord. I don't think it does. So you're gonna have to wrap it around or just put it back inside whenever you're done playing. Oh, I don't think it does. That's kind of disappointing. I could be wrong though. I kind of want to check the guide and double check. Um, hmm. Huh. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't come with anything like that. Unfortunately. So, yeah, so I guess I got rid of the, uh, the little cabinet thing to put your stick in. I'm pretty sad about that. But, you know, to get some features, you're going to have to lose some. So, um, if I do, yeah, I, I, I don't think it's there. I do not think it's there. I mean, you get to store it inside, which is pretty cool. But, you know, that was, that was a feature I loved a lot. But, because I would always, like, put it back in. But after a while, I just kind of got tired of just putting it back in the cabinet and just wrap the cord around. I think that's what most people do anyway. So, uh, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much the Chun-Li stick. Um, I'm actually going to do a quick comparison between the other two sticks that I have. So if you guys want to see the size difference, um, I'll show you that as well. Give me one second. Alright, and I am back, guys, with um, a comparison um, of the Chun-Li TE2 with, uh, along with um, my two other standard Torn Red Edition sticks that I have. Um, <laughs> funny thing is, these aren't actually the only two TE sticks that I've owned. I've actually owned two M <laughs> I've owned two M Wait a second. No, how many MLG TE6 have I have I owned total? I think I've owned two or three. I can't really remember. Tec yeah, technically I've owned three because one of them I had to return. That was the one that I was talking about that I got from the Microsoft store that um, ended up being busted. But um, no, I've yeah. So I've basically owned uh, two M two additional MLG TE6 aside from that. Um, but I've sold those off and. Um, yeah, so just to show you guys, like, size comparison here, um, I'll do the Marvel one, just because it's closest, but, um, yeah, I mean, they're basically the same size, but, uh, one thing that I do have to mention is that, um, I do believe the Chun-Li TE2 is a lot lighter, like, it just feels lighter, yeah, this is much lighter, and I think... I don't know why. I don't know why to be to be very honest, but yeah, the, the TE2s actually. Math. How am I gonna determine this? Hmm. I don't know. They're pretty. They're pretty close in weight, but um, yeah, they're pretty close in weight, but um, I think just because this is this the the, the original tournament editions just seem a little bit more bulky. Just because they've got this whole edge thing going on, they've kind of shaved the edges off a little bit, um, but you know, added more, added more uh, uh, width, I guess, towards the bottom. But I mean, um, yeah, they kind of shaved the edges off with the TE twos, and that's not just with the Chun Li one. With all the other uh, Torn Edition two sticks, they've pretty much just shaved the edges off. So I think that kind of makes this one slightly lighter. It's slightly lighter, um, but yeah, otherwise, like. Um, buttons are the same, sticks are the same pretty much, um, uh, so yeah, that's about it. So this stick cost me, I think it was, I think they retail at $2.29. You can get the original, just the standard TE2 sticks for, um, I think they're just one, uh, $1.99, so $200, 200 bucks for your originals, and then if you want to get the Chun-Li, 
uh, edition. It's uh, 229. And uh, Mad Cats does have they have two or th- they have three more coming out towards uh, the beginning of February, I think, uh, before Street Fighter V launches. And those ones are they've got like a a Shadowloo edition stick. They've got just a regular Street Fighter V edition stick has like Ryu on it, I think. And then there's a smaller one, um, a smaller stick. It's just like a very like very small budget stick. But um, yeah, so the Rio edition and the Shadowloo edition, I think, are also going to be two hundred and twenty nine dollars. And that smaller stick, I think, it's under hundred dollars. I I have to double check. But um, <laughs> these are gonna these are pretty these these are limited edition. So at some point in time, they're gonna stop production of these. So. Um, right now it doesn't seem like, it seems like they have plenty to sell because I got mines off Amazon and I've been checking like ever since they, they released to see if they've been selling out and they haven't sold out once. So I think once Street Fighter V launches, people will probably start, uh, looking to, or probably start looking to pick up, uh, more PS4 sticks and I'm pretty sure the Chun-Li ones are going to be the ones they're going to sell out, um, sell out first, so... I mean, if you guys are looking to get a new stick for Street Fighter V or for uh, Guilty Gear, um, Rev when it comes out, or Blaze Blue Central Fiction, or any of the other games that are launching on PS4 later this year, um, you want a stick? Go for this one. <laughs> go for this one. It's it's really nice. It's limited. And hey, if you want to sell it in the future, you'll probably be able to make, I don't know, maybe 50 to 100 more dollars than what you purchased it for. So uh, I think it's worth I think it's worth the money. Um but yeah, that's basically it uh, for this, I don't know, what is this now? Unboxing, slight review, and comparison video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I should have some more unboxing videos coming sometime sometime in the near future as I slowly get uh, new stuff. I have a lot of old stuff, and I'm kind of like replacing um, a lot of my older projects with newer products now. Like, I just upgraded my PC a little bit. So, um, yeah, I'll be doing more unboxing videos down the line. But if you guys enjoyed this one, please be sure to drop it a like. Uh, drop it a comment let me know what you think and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet but otherwise i will see you guys later thanks for watching everyone peace out